another one with the blue jean. See if they can catch up. seen this show? Let's get weird. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Woo. Wow. Well, I saw this guy back here first. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright. Let me read what it's about. Uh, Let's Get Weird is a partially scripted, partially improv, comedic and high energy show where patrons will be asked to bring an item from home oh. to be added to our set for a create your own storytelling show. Your host, comedian Melanie Bailey, tells you a combination of real bizarre stories and those completely made up based on your items. Co-host Christina Ramos dazzles the audience with her improvisational dance storytelling <laughs> and a wild and unpredictable night of fun. Yeah. Let's get weird. Let's go, boys. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, guys! What's up? We're gonna get weird here! <laughs> I need, I need some objects that you got in your house. Shout them out. Just shout them out. Yeah, special Any object. special Granny objects. Square. What was that? Granny squares. Granny squares. Yeah, my granny, she knit some granny squares. She used to crochet them up. She would put them all over the place like little doilies, <laughs> put drinks on them. We'd take some sippies, and then we'd be refreshed. Yeah, there you go. Woo! Yeah! yeah! Okay, next item. Any weird items from over in the back? I see you, don't look down. <laughs> a what? A cat tree. A cat tree. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Meow. I'm but a cat. Hairball. Uh. Hairball. <laughs> pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Just that you own in your home. It doesn't have to be weird. Okay, just one. <laughs> Ukulele! An instrument where you can play a song. You can go a strum a strum 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 what story do you have to tell, ukulele? <laughs> I would like to talk about how Hawaii is still kind of an occupied nation state. <laughs> <laughs> the United States in, in the mid-20th century. Uh, <laughs> You're right, ukulele. That's a pretty weird story. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> All right, for our final item, mm -hmm. we're going to be choosing from one of our homes. Connor, do you have a weird item at your home? Yes, I have a small stuffed raccoon that sits beneath the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have a name, it just makes me smile. <laughs> Every time, I, sometimes I leave the lamp on even though it's not energy efficient because I know when I get home and it's dark out that I open my door and the first thing I see is a little smiling raccoon. There's a raccoon tail here. It's a ringed tail. I, I stole it from my mother's house. Raccoon, what's your name? I need to know. My name is 
Reggie! Reggie, will Reg you dance with me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what do you think of this um, man versus woman kind of thing we're doing today? Oh, we're doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that was what I was going to be asking. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just ask because I have to notice that you might be a man. Uh, that is correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I happen to be a man too. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. And I, and I also noticed that uh, mm -hmm. uh, whatever score you give them is going to pretty much decide the game yeah. uh, well, of men versus women here. So <laughs> well, I'm I'm very objective, so I feel confident in my score. Here, so like, there's a lot of good similarities I saw in here. There's a lot of good like aggressively asking the audience for stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, there was also a combination of stuff from the audience and stuff they brought, so that was nice. One of the objects was a stuffed horse, which was eerily similar to a stuffed what? raccoon. Uh, before you go any further, may I say you're also very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> There was a combination of both like the dance and the, the storytelling were different, right? So there's kind of two shows going on at once. Wow. So you both did there was like four objects, right? Four objects? We did four, yeah. So I think I think that's like four points for each of them for a total of eight points seems to make sense. Eight doesn't sound like enough. It's, <laughs> it's also, I might add, the most points you've been awarded. <laughs>